Good morning, everybody. Hey, I want to do another. You remember I told you guys I was going to do a, a a segment of different YouTube bloggers that I've been following. Well, this is my third most favorite vlog vlogger vlogger. <laughs> I'll get it right here in a minute. He is another one that I've been following. I like him as an individual. He is very, very motivated. Um, he likes nothing but positivity. He doesn't want to hear negativity. And uh, he is, uh, he's got his game on. Okay. Um, this man will not take anybody that is going to try to knock him down. He will not tolerate it. And what I mean by that is he has some goals that he wants to really make and make work for him. He's wanting to buy a house eventually. He's uh, wanting to become an owner operator. And uh, you know what? He's going to make it happen. I just know he will. Um, I ain't never met the guy, except for I watch his videos, see, when I have a subscriber, or whenever I subscribe onto somebody, I like to watch their videos, so of course, curiosity, you know, I don't just watch from when I start, uh, when I first become one of their subscribers, but I like to go back into the archives, I like to go back as far as I'm allowed to go back, and watch their videos from the start. Um, and that's what I did with this guy. I went as far back as I could. Now this guy is really educational. He really wants to teach you guys uh, how to do certain things with trucking. Uh, like uh, air brake test. Uh, he did a video on that. A very good job. He did a very good job. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, he also uh, he, uh, he he tried to tell you guys about the CSA score. He read it right off. He showed you guys. He read it right off the wall. Uh, trying to tell you guys, you know, this is what <laughs> what the points are if you get caught not doing it right. Uh, he drove for a company. He stayed there until he, he moved to another company. And uh, he, I just like this guy because there are so much negativity in trucking that, that uh, if somebody new is trying to come into the trucking industry and they actually get their advice from somebody who is going to give negativity about it uh, that's enough to discourage somebody from coming in trucking is a very good industry to get into uh, there is money to be made if you have the right people and you have the right job and the right company and they know how to roll you uh, there is money in it um, this guy just puts a smile on your face when you watch one of his videos. And uh, I would like to meet this guy. I really do. And I will. Trust me. I watch. And I watch every one of my subscribers. I know what you're driving unless you change a company and you're not saying nothing. <coughs> Excuse me again. Um, but I do watch out for him because... Um, if I ever get this guy in my sights and I ever get the pleasure of shaking his hand, um, it's going to make my day. And uh, you guys are probably wondering who I'm talking about. Well, here's an introduction to a man that is proud of what he is doing. He is proud of, of the industry that he is in. And... Uh, 
I guess what I'm trying to say is that if there's ever a last man standing in the trucking industry, it's probably going to be this guy. Because it's going to take an awful lot to knock him off his horse. His night horse. And this is who I'm talking about. That's right. I'm talking about the one and only Mr. Sinister. <laughs> uh, I love his videos. I watch them every time he puts one up. Now, if he's going to put one up ten times a day, he's got my, uh, he's got my, I got to work out. <laughs> because uh, I wait until the truck is stopped and I watch him, but I do watch him. I watch every one. Uh, he's a very smart, intelligent individual. He just got into trucking, and he's already got as much knowledge and know-how and how to get the job done as any driver I've ever known that's been doing it for a long time. So, uh, hey, you old-timers, the drivers that's been driving for a long time, watch out, because Mr. Sinister is going to end up passing you guys up. <laughs> Uh, I just want to give a big shout out to him because I really do like his videos and uh, I, I, I'm hoping I'm doing justice on this. I am not mocking anybody as far as my uh, me following my subscribers. I, I, I love you guys, man. You guys are um, like uh, entertainment to me and knowledge. See, in the trucking industry, I don't care how many years you've been driving. Uh, if you ever say to anybody, you can't tell me anything about this industry because I know it all, uh, it's time to get out of that truck, literally, before you hurt somebody or yourself. Uh, I've been driving for 20 years, and it's nice to know that you can watch a video like this and get knowledge again. You know, it's like, uh, it's like being, in a way, being reborn again. Uh, you're being reminded, and uh, so you always learn something new. And Mr. Sinister uh, reminds us of stuff that we have to remember. Uh, I never had a reefer before. I never ran a reefer in my life. I've, it's always been dry van or flatbed. But uh, I learned something the other day on his uh, showing how you run a reefer, how you get a reefer started. That was very interesting to me. And I watched that whole video, and uh, if I ever get into the reefer, and uh, I get stuck in a situation where, okay, now how do I do this again? And I'm sure the company is going to show me, but I always got his video I can go back to, to remind me. And uh, he is very informative, very smart, intelligent human being. And Sinister, uh, as long as I'm breathing... And you're making these videos. I will continue watching them. And as he says. RG. Keep grinding man. You guys just keep grinding. Make that money. Make that money. And don't listen to negative feedback. From anybody. If you want to know the real source. About any company that you're going to. You call the company themselves. But don't ask somebody and if they're going to give you feedback that is negative don't go by that feedback because what happened to them may not happen to you and you could get cheated out of a good pay because somebody told you it was a rotten company see that person might have gotten in, gotten themselves in trouble they might have did something that got them fired and their, their thinking is I'm going to keep somebody else from coming over there. I'll just tell them whatever and don't listen to that. You guys have a good day. God bless. Thumbs up.